Hello engineers, in this video we will examine how we can give access to Azure resources using IAM. If you enjoy my content and you want to support my channel, subscribe, like and share this video. Authentication in Azure works through the Azure Active Directory. It is a service that is provided by Microsoft and you can find it by searching in the search bar. When you find the Active Azure Directory, and you have already created your tenant, you can create users and groups on your tenant and provide permissions on those users using IAM Access Control. We will now examine how this works and how you can provide access to Azure resources through IAM. For this video, we will use a log analytics workspace that I have created inside a resource group which is called DevOps Infra. The resource groups are logical entities in Azure in which you can group resources inside them. Given that I have a service that uses multiple resources in order to work like an SQL database and function app and other services in Azure, I can group them all together inside a resource group. I can use then later on this resource group in order to provide specific permissions in particular users. This mechanism works through the IAM access control. You can find it in the left menu of the specific resource and all resources inside Azure. So when you navigate in a resource, you can find the access control in the left menu that you can see for the resource. By pressing the access control, we can see various sub menus like check access, role assignment, roles, deny assignments, and classic administrators. The most important ones to know are the first three and we will navigate now in order to understand how they work. By pressing the check access button, you can see your access inside this resource. So by pressing this button, I can see that I have the service administrator role and this role is inherited by the root scope. So as I am an admin in my subscription, I inherit the administration role on this resource. But given that I have multiple users and I want to provide specific permissions in this user, I will only provide the least privilege that is required so that the specific user can do the action that is needed for this particular resource. Given that we have the log analytics workspace service, we could provide the reader role only to an operator that wants to see the logs and check what's happening inside our infrastructure. The second tab is the role assignments under which you can see what role assignments are assigned currently for this particular resource. As you can see, all of them are inherited as I haven't yet provided any role assignment by my own and you can see that most of them are inherited either from the resource group or the subscription. You can also find this information under the scope and you can verify where this access comes from. As you can see we can have contributor which is a general role assignment or specific role assignments for this particular resource that we can find under the roles. Inside the roles menu, you can find which role assignments are permitted for this particular resource. As we said, there are some role assignments that are of type general that exist for all the resources on Azure, like owner, contributor, and reader, but there are some other specific access roles that are only available for this particular resource and you can find that by looking the category for which this role is created. So given that we have a log analytics workspace, we can find that there are specific roles for only this log analytics workspace like the log analytics contributor and log analytics reader. This is the kind of list privilege that we discussed and every time you will need to give access in Azure resources, you should prefer to give only the permissions that are required and it is a best practice to only use narrowed down permissions based on the resource that you're using. 
so I don't want to provide contributor access on this resource but I only want to provide log analytics contributor access as you can see that this role is bind with specific permissions which you can read also from the description by pressing the view button you can see the specific permissions that are assigned to this specific role and you can find the categories and also the type of the actions for example for the microsoft add-ons it has the read permissions so it can read the microsoft add-ons and by continuing with that we can see that we have many permissions but most of them are read and we don't have permissions in other resources let's now navigate back and see how we can assign a role assignment under a resource so we should go in access control and press the add button when we press the add button we can use the add role assignment and when we use the add role assignment button we should specify which role we need to provide we will take as an example the security reader role we will select it and then we will press next in order to give this permission to particular users or groups as i currently don't have an active directory inside my subscription you can see that in the select members i can find only myself inside this tenant but given that you have more users you could find them also by pressing review and assign we assign this role assignment and then we can go in role assignments and see the particular access that we have provided here we have a new tab which is called security reader and i have assigned myself inside it by using the same way you can also assign permissions using the manage identity so given that you follow security best practices you should provide accesses between resources through managed identities and not users or service accounts given that i have enabled managed identity in some of my resources i can locate them and review and assign those roles in my resources thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below if you work using the least privilege methodology